Hello, good afternoon. This is Dr. Do again. This video is on alphabetic list of problems, still on letter E. Today I'm going to talk about encephalopathy. Um, encephalopathy is the disease of the brain tissue, parenchyma tissue of the brain, which means the function unit of the brain. If you recall, I mentioned the brain had the, the center of the functional unit, which really the, um, the, uh, the brain tissue. Or parenchymal tissue and also surrounded by the meninges. So the encephalopathy is the disease of this uh, functional units. Either uh, can, can be caused by the toxicity, for example, the end stage of liver disease or the end stage of kidney disease because the chemical accumulate uh, causing the toxicity to the nerve cells, to the nerve tissues in the brain or uh, could be caused by the viral infection caused encephalitis. Or there another group of the encephalopathy, it's, uh, which is caused by the genetic chemical deposition, for example, the amyloid, for example, the deposit in the brain caused this mental retardation. So is any um, encephalopathy related to the emergency visit? Yes. Um, except for the uh, encephalopathy from the genetic cause, which is mental retarded uh, patient, they're not uh, emergency uh, uh, there's no need for emergency, but if the encephalopathy either caused by the end-stage liver disease or end-stage kidney disease or the viral infection associated with uh, altered mental status, um, delirium, and also high fever, uh, and also neurological deficit, so if uh, neurological problems, if these are the signs together, which means that uh, the, uh, the brain, uh, parenchyma tissue of the brain might have the problem. So you need to see the emergency as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, pretty much uh, the encephalopathy cannot be managed at home, except for the one I mentioned, the genetic cost. Uh, uh, it's really uh, uh, cannot change anything, just uh, uh, follow the physicians and for the regular uh, management in terms of mental retardation. But um, other than that, it has to be managed, uh, I think, pretty much urgent or emergency situation. So um, let's talk about the brain uh, structure first. So brain has the uh, parenchyma and also the mycenchymal uh, tissue, which are the, uh, the in, uh, surrounded uh, interstitial uh, connective tissue in between the nerve cells or the nerve fibers. So the... Uh, the encephalopathy is the truly function, the nerve uh, neurons unit, uh, either the nerve fibers, uh, which is white matter, or the the nerve cells, the neuron itself, which is the nucleus and also the organelles in, uh, located in the gray matter. So, if um, and what are the causes for this encephalopathy? First of all, like uh, I. The toxic cause either the end stage liver disease because the ammonium accumulate, um, the liver cannot detoxify, uh, so the the ammonium uh, deposit or the uh, bilirubin deposit in the in the uh, brain, so that caused the uh, encephalopathy, and this patient has a special signs as teratics. Uh, so this means like the like a wing uh, flapping wing. Uh, uh, contraction and also uh, delirium and may or may not have fever and also any stage of kidney disease also have this uh, risk of encephalopathy because of the ammonium cannot uh, excrete it from the urine so accumulate in the blood and then reach to the brain to damage the, the um, brain tissue cause this encephalopathy and the other very important, especially in the summer, because the mosquito carried special virus, encephalitis, it's quite, I think in 1970s, there increased the incidence of an, a viral caused encephalitis uh, carried by the mosquitoes. So these are the cases. Uh, so that kind of the uh, patient with encephalitis is usually have fever and uh, um, uh, delirium and also neurological problem uh, lost uh, uh, consciousness. So the uh, high fever, high grade fever, very ill. So this kind of patient really dangerous. Uh, need to um, need to be 
the scene in the emergency room as soon as possible. In terms of the treatment, because it is a viral cause, or if, it's, if it is a toxic cause, then the detoxification, if can, to use some um, uh, replenish with the new plasma, or to uh, uh, use other way to get rid of the uh, the waste or the either the bilirubin or the um, ammonium. So that's the treatment for the toxic encephalopathy. For the viral encephalopathy, it's really um, just the supportive management. Uh, manage the airway, make sure there's no impaired breathing, and then manage the heart and also uh, fluid, and also probably sometimes give some steroid to build up the immune system, to build up the uh, body response for this stress situation. So these are the, uh, it seems very, uh, uh, probably minor, actually it's not, it's quite a serious problem. Um, and nowadays I think there's some other newly identified virus in this uh, last decade, either the herpes or the uh, Zika, for example, and also uh, Ebola. Uh, at center, at center. These are the new virus can cause this chron uh, acute encephalitis. There's some special virus cause the chronic encephalopathy, encephalitis. It's not quite common in developed world, world probably in the underdeveloped or developing country. There's some uh, chronic uh, uh, encephalopathy. Uh, encephalopathy, encephalitis. But uh, anyway, uh, since we're on, um, but regardless, if you have the uh, risk factor, for example, if you have the chronic, you or your family has a chronic liver disease or chronic kidney disease, uh, develop this altered mental status or lost consciousness or um, a delirium and fever, or if you knew you traveled somewhere in, uh, had in the wild or had mosquito bite and then uh, have this uh, symptoms feel very sluggish or uh, feel lost altered mental status so if that's the case then especially associated with high fever so if that's the case you really need to uh, let your doctor know the better way is just go to emergency to check it out to make sure it is not a, a serious problem um, so this is about the video of encephalopathy, encephalitis. It's not quite common, um, uh, but it is, uh, the consequence could be very serious. Uh, so, and uh, these conditions for the uh, encephalopathy, either toxic encephalopathy caused by the end-stage liver disease, end-stage kidney disease, might occur in the older people uh, with other comorbidities. And encephalitis could occur to anyone, from children to adult uh, to elderly. So it's kind of quite a dangerous situation. So um, I just uh, uh, brought here because summer season is uh, near and also just make sure uh, you prevent and uh, use the uh, mosquito prevention and to make sure you not get exposed to the virus that can cause the encephalitis. Uh, I'm going to stop here and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.